Okay, starting off turn number four of the Legend of Drizzt board game, adventure number two. All right, so Drizzt is going to go, uh, yeah, I forgot at the end of last turn, this doesn't matter, but I will do it now, to pass, technically you pass this over to the other player after it activates, so make sure I do that now, pass this over to Drizzt, because this will now activate for Drizzt. And let me just go ahead and mark that on here. The way I'm doing that, I'm just going to put an X through the Feral Troll here. And then on turn four, I will put it for Drizzt. The Feral Troll will activate if we don't do something. Okay, so uh, yeah, Drizzt turn. And what do we have here? So that's just for speed. And attack one adjacent monster, then attack. Okay, what's this one? Attack one adjacent monster, then place your stance token on this card. Okay, so, well, our stance token is already here. Let me think, while your stance token is on this card, whenever you use an attack, you can move your hero. So... Attack one adjacent monster, then place... So I could do this. But is there any reason to do this, though? Attack one adjacent monster, then place your stance token on this card. You can remove this... So this is the one that basically... You remove the stance token, and then... You reduce the damage of the attack by one. So we might do that. Though, actually... Icing death, if we get lucky on our roll, we will kill the feral troll. Let's let's do that. So we're going to have Drizzt move up adjacent to the feral troll. Um, so I'm assuming, yeah, he's on these four squares here because that's the mushroom patch where he would have been placed. So he's going to step forward one by one and attack with icing death. And if we get a if we get lucky on a roll, we'll take the troll out. So we'll roll it a little bit in our hand, and we'll drop it in. And 17. Oh man, so close to being the 18 that we need to do the double damage. But that's okay. So we'll put one more damage token on the Feral Troll. And now we'll use his Expert Combatant to make an additional attack. It's kind of tempting to use a, tw a twin strike because we're guaranteed to take out the feral troll. That is super tempting. Super, super tempting. But I think so. What we'll do? So what we'll do now? We'll use Twinkle since we didn't get that 18, and then these are the same. They both get plus six. So we'll use Twinkle, and we need to get. So the feral troll's AC is only like 12 I think so we don't need to roll super high so we just need a six or better yeah, and we're using twinkle this time oops and we got eight which is enough so that also means that we move the stance token over here and the next time we would get hit we remove the stance token um, so that also means we don't have this ability at the moment but I think this is better Okay, so the troll goes down. So we'll remove these. And put them over here. Take the troll off. And we'll just place it sideways. Troll is gone. Alright, so let's update for Drizzt. So nothing here. And we'll mark off the feral troll. It's gone now. We, we did move. We attacked. And we do get treasure. So we'll draw treasure for Drizzt. And use when your hero hits an adjacent monster with an attack. The attack deals an extra two damage. Nice. Alright, now since we don't have this anymore we can't move because we've already moved once and I was actually counting on being able to move again but I think this all worked out a little better 
So that means we cannot explore. Um, but it's okay, it's fine. So we can't explore. So that means no tile, no new monster, um, but we do have a forced encounter. So let's go ahead and draw the encounter. And the encounter is going to be quick, a quickling ambush, attack your hero, uh, plus eight, does damage either way. All right, roll up the dice, it bounced out, and I never count anything that bounces out, whether it's um, in my favor or not. So three. Three and eight is 11, and that will miss, but it'll still do one damage. So we'll put that over here. And Driz takes one hit, bringing him down to four. Okay, so... So that's going to be it for Driz's turn. So now Bruner will activate. And Bruner is no longer poisoned, no longer has a curse, so he just has like a regular turn at this point. I'd really like to give Drizzt that those two hit points, but uh, I can't do that and explore. So let me see here. Um, okay, so this is just going to be a regular turn. So Burner's movement is five. Let's go that way. So he's going to go, um, you know, one two, three, let's have him go here, and he's going to explore this area. And we got a black triangle, but before that, we're going to have a monster, and we're going to get a hunting drake. So I'll put that over here, we'll come over here, draw our hunting drake out, place it on the mushroom stack, and let's start updating for Brenner. So nothing here, he did move. He could not attack, so no treasure. Uh, we did explore, got a black tile this time. We got a hunting drake. We will have an encounter, although we can cancel it. Villain, and then hunting drake. All right, so let's see what kind of encounter we get. We do have enough experience to cancel. I think we can cancel two. So, um, let's get let's go ahead and cancel that. We've already seen it. It's not terrible, but let's cancel it. So we'll use we'll use the one experience from the hypnotic spirit and the four experience that we got from the troll. And we'll discard all that. And we still have yeah, we still have enough to cancel an encounter. So yes, we had an encounter, but we canceled it. So now the hunting drake will activate. I've seen the hunting drake, but I don't quite remember what it does. Okay, so it's just going to move adjacent to Bruner and attack. And attack. And it doesn't have to move to his tile. So we'll have him move over here and attack Bruner with the plus eight. So I, don't, I might not. So I need to. Pr I'm, I need to get a new base for this tower because the, this is too shallow and it causes it to bounce out so I might just have to switch I think I will in between turns I'm gonna switch back to the dice tray because it they, they don't bounce out I do like this dice tower I feel like it gives me more randomness in my rolls but until I 3d print a new base um I think this is just gonna cause so many bounces that it's gonna no, it's not worth using it okay so that was a 15 so that's gonna be a hit um, and it's going to hit him for one, taking him down to three. And that will be the end of his turn. Now, I think, I think the next time Bruner goes, I'm going to have to use his uh, potion of healing. All right, so that's going to be the end of turn number four.